making a simple DC electric motor with a commutator. You will need two magnets, enamel copper wire, a wooden stake or skewer, one piece of cardboard about 15cm square, two pieces of cardboard about 4 by 8 centimeters each, extra cardboard for reinforcement, a drinking straw, a battery, a rubber band, hook up wire, a round form for the coil, such as a glue stick, and a sharp knife and some sandpaper. First step is to make the coil. Wrap the coil around your form about 12 times, leaving one end about 5 cm in length and the other end around 20 cm in length, and remove the coil from the form. Wrap the longer end around the coil so that it holds the coil in place, finishing near the shorter end of the coil. Insert the wooden stake through the coil as shown so that it passes through the middle of both sides of the coil and between the loose ends of the coil. Cut off the stake so that it's about 10 cm long and sharpen the cut end. Cut shallow grooves into one end of the stake on opposite sides of the stake no deeper than the thickness of your wire to fit the loose ends of the coil. It's easiest to do this if you slip the coil off the stake first. Then put the coil back on the stake if you removed it and glue it in place in the middle of the stake so that the plane of the coil is in line with the grooves in the stake and the loose ends of the wire are at the end of the stake with the grooves cut in. Then glue the free ends of the coil into the grooves with a drop of glue at either end of each groove making sure that there is a corresponding area between the glue on both sides of the stake and then sand or scrape the enamel from the surfaces of the wires in the grooves between the drops of glue. These will be the contacts for your commutator. Take the smaller pieces of cardboard which are going to be your magnet supports and cut a recess in both of these about half the thickness of your magnet so that the magnets can sit in them. Also cut two lengths of the drinking straw about 5 to 6 centimetres long so that they're about 1 to 2 centimetres longer than the width of your magnet supports. Use a pin to make a hole in the piece of the straw about 4 centimetres from one end and use the end of the stake to enlarge these as is shown. Glue the straws to the base so that the stake fits between them with the points just resting in the holes you just made in the straws and so that these holes are in the top half of the straws. Next step is to glue the magnets into the magnet stands so they sit in about the middle of the magnet stands. Glue the magnet stands to the base so that the magnets line up with the center of the coil and so that one magnet has its south pole pointed towards the coil and the other magnet has its north pole pointed towards the coil. You may well need to reinforce your magnet stands with extra cardboard as is shown to keep the magnets from pulling towards each other. Cut two lengths of wire about 12 to 15 centimeters in length and strip the ends. Use the rubber band to attach one end of each of these to the battery and touch the other stripped end of the wire to the commutator. The motor should spin. If it does not, you may need to sand or scrape the contacts on the commutator or adjust the position of the wires. Once you've got your motor working, glue the wires in place so that they are held firmly against the contacts on the stake. The motor should turn quite quickly when the battery is hooked up. 